This video will go over working with custom faceplates and temples. If you have a baseplate that you want to reuse over and over again due to possible boat locations or quick change locations, things like that for swapping them in and out, what you'll need to do is generate a DXF file first. So however your baseplate is currently designed, you'll need to generate a DXF file from it. And then once that's completed, you will want to import that into the software. So once we have this here, we'll import in that DXF file I made into the software. And then that'll locate it. So from here, I just need to draw a bounding box so I can get the center of this to move to the center of X0, Y0. You'll want to center this CAD information over top of X0 and Y0 for using it later. So to do that very quickly, just a matter of drawing a couple of vertical lines at the quadrants here. Two horizontal lines, one at the quadrant down here, <clears throat> and then one just horizontal with this line. Next is just a couple through points on the intersections of these two lines and this one and then this one and Okay, so once that's complete, we'll just translate this. I'll move all of this to X0, Y0. And then from here, we can delete the construction geometry. We do not need it anymore. <clears throat> and then next, we need to put this on the correct layer. This is the most important part. So you'll go to Edit Attributes. You'll go to Layer. And this is called User Base Plate. Highlight all of your items and then hit done. Now this is on the correct layer. It can be re-exported to the correct file location. So that's going to be users, public, documents, nucleo fixture, base plate CAD. Once we're in here, we give it a file name that we want to use, uh, sample base plate dot DXF. Hit save. And then OK. OK, so now that that is saved in the correct folder, I'm just going to switch over to this file and we'll go through how to use it. So we'll start with the fixture. I just opened up the uh, quick demo box. We'll go into the wizard. And we'll just next through until we get to the base plate. I had the box checked already, so what you'll want to do is drop this menu down to the file that you want to use, <clears throat> and that imports in the file for you. From here, you can choose to check or uncheck the center pre-drawn CAD about part. So what that's going to do is, without the box checked, wherever the CAD is, is where the CAD stays. If you check this box, the CAD will reposition itself to be centered over top of the part. Next, we just go through boundaries. You know, we have work our way to the end here. Since this part's already done, I can just work, click next all the way to the end. Okay. Once this is here, we'll go ahead and build fixture. Okay. So once that's complete, take a look. And you'll see that the all the information has been put onto the base plate. Base plate is drawn. All of your etching and everything is on the base plate as well. So 
couple things that I want to show you though is this. Let's go to this file. So on this file, what we have is the base plate is the part is not technically centered over top of the base plate. Maybe you want to do that for a certain reason, maybe you do not. Okay, so first thing that we will do is I'm going to leave this box unchecked and this will generate the base plate as you see it. So we'll just next through everything again. We'll build this fixture this time. Okay. <clears throat> Fixtures designs, we'll take a look. And you'll note that this center is still centered here where it was, and the part is shifted. Now, let's simply just go back into the base plate and check this box, and you'll see what the difference will be. So once that box is checked, we'll rebuild the fixture. Okay, so the new fixture is generated, we'll take a look. Then, as you can see, if we view down on this, the fixture and the part, or the part is now fixtured, centered on the plate, but it did shift off of Z0, off of the XY0. So just keep that in mind, that if you were to do that, that is what will happen. If you have any other questions on how to do this, Please contact our support staff and we can set up a meeting to go over that. Thank you and have a good day.